Good evening, and welcome to the Combined Honor Society's induction ceremony for Attleboro High School. Tonight, we will celebrate students being honored by five honor societies, the National Honor Society, the National Technical Honor Society, and the Societies for Art, Music, and World Languages. While not traditional, this ceremony is no less significant. We are so proud of tonight's inductees. I would ask that you first consider joining me in a moment of silence for those impacted by the devastating effects of COVID-19. Thank you. You all remain in my thoughts and prayers as we continue to navigate these unprecedented times. There is light at the end of the tunnel, provided that we continue to maintain our safety protocols. Thank you to our National Honor Society advisors who came together to make this virtual ceremony a reality and special for the inductees and their families. Students, tonight we recognize you for excellence in academics, creativity, and technical expertise three fundamental elements for which our Blue Pride community is renowned. But in these unprecedented times, you also give us something priceless, hope. Giving someone hope is an immeasurable gift. It is light in darkness. It is strength through despair. We are all anxious right now, but you are resilient. You will make our communities better in the wake of this pandemic. To the inductees and their families, I congratulate you. Inductees, I am going to give you some additional homework. The first task is to take care of your thank yous. For some of you, your thank yous may be transcendent in nature, and for others of you, they may be practical in nature. You owe a thank you to your family. Who rushed you to Michael's on Route 1 the night before the science project was due to get those styrofoam balls to make the planets? Who listened to you complain about all the essays that you had to write in English too? Your family did. You need to thank your teachers. The teachers here at Attleboro High School are an amazing group and they have shined through this pandemic. They are the ones who have fostered your love of learning and pushed you towards excellence to make sure that you did not become complacent. Thank your friends whether they favorited a social media post of exasperation or just simply listened to you when you had a subpar grade, they were there for you. Your to-do list item number two, pay it forward. Your intellectual gifts mean nothing if you do not use them to benefit others. Tonight, you will hear about service. If your service requirement to get into these honor societies is the extent to which you give back to the community, this award is bogus. You know my thoughts on professional responsibility. Blue Pride means that we help others in our community. Tutor someone who needs a boost. Use your carpentry skills to repair an elderly person's home. Use those gifts for the betterment of others. And item number three, take time for yourself. Your ability and willingness to serve are of no use to anyone if you burn out. Be a kid, laugh, love and live. One of my favorite sayings is that there is a reason why the windshield is bigger than the rearview mirror. See the big picture and don't dwell on the past. Last but not least, be good to one another. We have certainly learned that tomorrow may never come. Once again, you make me proud to be your principal. Thank you. And now, please join me in welcoming the National Honor Society advisor, Ms. Angela Larson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Attleboro High School's National Honor Society and National Technical Honor Society induction ceremony. My name is Angela Larson, and I am the National Honor Society advisor here at Attleboro High School. We'll begin tonight's induction ceremony by discussing the four pillars of the National Honor Society. Membership into the National Honor Society is earned through effective demonstration of the four qualities held in esteem by the society. These four qualities are scholarship, service, leadership, and character. We will review these qualities for all so that you can see what these students have strived for and achieved in order to reach membership into the National Honor Society. The first quality is scholarship. 
Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours reading and studying, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended. Knowledge is one great element of life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the ability to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. The second quality is service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of a day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefits of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. The third characteristic is leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members. The fourth and final quality is character. Character is the force within each individual which, which distinguishes them from others. It gives each of them individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character which guides ones through life and once developed grows steadily. We must demonstrate such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship so that we may hope to prove by example that we value character. As you begin your chapter in the National Honor Society, we ask you to continue to integrate these qualities into your everyday actions, both in school and in our community. At this time, I will ask all my inductees to please raise their right hand and repeat after me. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Thank you. The following students are the inductees for this year. Jarrell Alexander, Maya Allo, John Aruda, Morgan Badger, Rhea Bajor, Juliana Baldoni, Delia Barthel, Jason Battisti, George Berganza, Ryan Betts, Corinne Blaisdell, Jameson Block, John Bluen, Lillian Bodecker, Gabriella Boldick, Emma Boss, Delaney Bostick, Rebecca Boudreau, Jason Brewster, Emma Briggs, 
Ryan Brown, Chelsea Brown, Lillian Brown, Anthony Burns, Caroline Butler, Olivia Calderon, Sophia Carlson, Jacqueline Carroll, Lee Cass Stevens, Neil Chase, Kaylin Coleman, Keegan Conley, Marissa Conroy, Olivia Cook, Angela Cooney, Paige Corcoran, Caden Costa, Jordan Croto, Jaden Cruz, Christian Dame, Allison Daniel, Gina Dow, Hannah Delfino, Allison Dennehy, Ryan Dennehy, Nathaniel Dolan, Zachary Dorrance, Angelique Duran, Madison Durick, Kelsey Elliott, Madison Ellis, Noah Estramera, Shane Evans, Ryan Field, Jacob Ferret, Lillian Froyo, Alyssa Furtado, Blake Gazzaro, Ethan Gattoni, Megan Gordon, Morgan Gravel, Rainey Geiger, Ava Haggerty, Kean Hamill Kelleher, Connor Hanrahan, Trinity Harrison, Alexander Harrop, Paulina Hem, Olivia Hillman, Kyra Kirsch, Hirsch, Christopher Holcomb, Evan Hool, Alexandra Insani, Ethan Johnson, Zoe Johnson Kiff, Ryan Johnson, Alyssa George, Joseph Kayan, Grace Ann Kleinbrow, Tina Lamb, Michaela Lamoro, Victoria Ledoux, Christopher Leonardo, Matthew Lortos, Aiden Lynch, Ella Lynch Bartek, Matthew Marcel, Elena Marinelli, Sean Marshall, Alondra Martinez, Amber Massey, Olivia Mastandrea, Diana MacArthur, Brady McDonald, Charlie McKenna, Andrew McKenzie, Riley McLean, Sarah McMahon, Abby Manudoli, Riley Moulton, Raina Mungia, Nora Nassa, Layla Naret, Chloe Newman, Felicity Norlin, Brenna O'Connell, Abigail Owens, Ava Palazio, Nicholas Pantages, Riley Parker, 
Benjamin Parker, Juliana Parsons, Summer Pereira, Lindsay Perry, Haley Perry, Kate Petroso, Nicholas Piazza, Abigail Plizka, Megan Priestley, Brendan Raymond, Allison Rabello, Adriana Rodriguez, Jaden Royster, Nathan Rubick, John Rumley, Kylie Sackett, Jemima Saintville, Kyle Sanford, Isaiah Silva, Callie Silva, Robert Smedberg, Karina Sosa, Thomas Stiegler, Jacob Straminski, Kashul Stuger, Ethan Sylvia, Zachary Thornton, Katrina Treeb, Caitlin Vieira, Laura Walsh, Emilia Westwater, Frederick Wheaton, Robert Winkler, Bryn Wright, Matthew Wright, Saharla Youssef, I would now like to introduce to you Mr. Jeremy Gay, our Career and Technical Education Director. This year we are proud to be inducting 71 Career and Technical Education students into the National Technical Honor Society. The mission of the National Technical Honor Society is to honor student achievement and leadership in career and technical education, promote educational excellence, award scholarships, and enhance career opportunities in the NTHS membership. These CTE students have ma maintained an overall grade point average of 88 or better in both academic and CTE coursework throughout their high school careers. In addition, each has completed a community service project. The seven stars on the NTHS seal represent the seven virtues these students embody leadership, scholarship, skills, honesty, citizenship, service, and responsibility. At commencement, they will be the only students wearing purple cord representing the National Technical Honor Society as part of their graduation regalia. The inductees are, in carpentry, Matthew Lima, Matthew Perry, Zachary Pierce, Daniel White, Nicholas Winslow. In Computer Information Systems, Laura McVeigh. In Criminal Justice, Maribel Bertrand, Neil Bowie, Ashley Candiles. Vanessa Chan, Sarah Del Pozo, Aiden Dorenzo, Alec Eaton, Kaylee Fitzgerald, Daniel Flores, Aliyah Martins, Jasmine Mavy, Sarah McDonough. Margaret McDonough, Ulysses Orellana, Megan Ostrom, Leba Queshi, Margaret Skitt, in culinary arts, Owen Graney, in graphic design and communications, Leslie Aguirre, Sarah Campbell, Kelly Neuendorf. 
in early education and care, Abigail Fortune, Krista Greening, Isabella Holmes, Megan Landry, Ariana Phipps, Riley Sullivan. In electrical technology, Brandon Sanford. In engineering technology, Joseph Callery, Matthew Chin, Thomas Hathaway, Ann No, Nathan Nunez, Harini Agati, William Rooney III, John Sacchioni, Basufiked Tazhomi, Joshua Tuz. In plumbing, Leah May Costa, Colton Mangin. In medical assisting, Danielle Badeau, Cameron Bouvier, Erica Fernandez, Rachel Faragi, Magdalena Guardado, Rachel Kedsaviskas, Nicole Krawcheck, Stephanie Latash, Paige Lightfoot, Crystal Lopez, Jenna Mikado, Natalie Mansur, Sandra Maraquin, Imani Maxwell, Stephen Mead, Samantha Medina, Dylan Nisbet, Mariana Panaglia, Emma Payon, Gabrielle Raymond, Mary Rocchio, Isabella Salviati, Nolan Smith, Imani Unegbu, and Brooke Vieira. Congratulations. Up next is Lindsay Nygaard. Hello, and thank you for joining us in recognizing Attleboro High School's highest achieving student artists in their induction into the National Art Honor Society. These student members have taken numerous visual art classes during their high school careers and have excelled at each one. These students are not only proficient artists, but they are also outstanding students who apply themselves and have success with all academic subject areas. The individuals honored today display a deep dedication to the visual arts as evidenced by their enthusiasm and commitment to their own work and growth. National Art Honor Society members willingly share their love of the visual arts with others, including their family, their peers, and with the community by participating in public art exhibitions and through community service projects. They serve as an inspiration to their peers, maintain confidence in leadership roles, and possess the artistic skills needed to continue to use art as both a means of self-satisfaction and expression and for the betterment of society. I would like to offer my sincerest congratulations to the following students on their induction into Attleboro High School's chapter of the National Art Honor Society. Marlena Fitzpatrick, Krista Lopez, Mary Rocchio, Maya Allo, Madison Ellis, Olivia Hillman, and Kelly Silva. The new members will now join me in reciting the National Art Honor Society's pledge. I will, in my life, to the best of my ability through my talents in art, help to create a more beautiful world for myself, for humankind, and for all living things. Once again, congratulations on all of your achievements and I hope you continue to challenge yourselves artistically and to strive to positively enhance your community and beyond with your engagement and dedication in and to the visual arts. 
Thank you. Presenting next for the Tri-M Music Honor Society is Ms. McCarthy. Good evening. Tonight, we will formally induct a number of students who have met the necessary criteria and have accepted invitations to become active members of the Music Modern Masters or Tri-M Music Honor Society. These music students have been carefully selected on the basis of scholarship, character, leadership, and service. Scholarship represents scholastic achievement and open-mindedness towards knowledge and truth. Character emphasizes a devotion to high ideals and recognizes no barriers between people of diverse backgrounds. Leadership guides us to greater undertakings and service encourages assistance and kindness to others. Will all the candidates for student membership please rise, raise your right hand, and repeat the pledge to show your willingness to carry out the principles of the Triumph Music Honor Society. We, the members of the Attleboro High School Music Department, in order to foster a greater continued interest and a desire for excellence in music performance, to encourage appreciation and awareness to listening to music, to promote wider opportunities for sharing joy through music, both within our school and within our community, to advance the spirit of good music and musical knowledge, and to enhance the reputation of our school as a center for musical enrichment, accept the honor now granted to us. The following candidates for student membership have qualified to become new members of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. Morgan Badger, Corinne Blaisdell, Lillian Bodecker, Anthony Burns, Caroline Butler, Marissa Conroy, Jacob Ferret, Philip Hannafin, Alexander Harrop, Joseph Kayan and Abigail Pliska. I now officially congratulate you and welcome you as new members of Chapter 3568 of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. You are now in a unique position of being able to pass on the torch of musical knowledge to colleagues and future beneficiaries of musical arts. May you go forward with pride and dignity as you continue to demonstrate the value of music in your life and share your gift with your school and community. Welcome to the Tri-M family. At this time, I would like to introduce the advisor of the National Foreign Language Honor Society, Mr. Peter Pereira. Good evening, I am Peter Pereira, the Attleboro High School World Language Department Coordinator. Welcome to the induction ceremony for the World Language Honor Societies, the American Sign Language Honor Society, and La Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica. The AHS Language Department has awarded these honor societies for the last 49 years. We are here to celebrate and honor students who have made an enthusiastic commitment to the study of the Spanish language and the Spanish culture, as well as the American Sign Language and Deaf culture. In order to be inducted into the Attleboro High School World Language Department Honor Societies, a student must have completed two years of the language, getting a 90 or better in the language scores, and not receiving a grade less than 80 in all other subjects. This evening, we are proud to induct 78, the best of our AHS students. Beginning with the American Sign Language. Inaugurated in 2006, the ASL Honor Society is an official program sponsored by the National ASL Teachers Association to encourage and recognize high 
academic achievement in ASL studies. The students to be honored here tonight are part of an elite group of students from across the United States and Canada. Out of hundreds of thousands of students learning ASL each year, these students have persevered and pursued excellence. For these reasons, they are inducted into the ASL Honor Society. May I present our candidates. Leslie Aguirre, Angela Cooney, Chloe Lewis, and Micah Mendez. Please stand and raise your right hand for the pledge. I, as a student of ASL, I understand that language can be a powerful connection between peoples of different cultures and backgrounds, bringing them together. Henceforth, I am proud to commit to being a steadfast ally of the deaf community. I pledge to encourage deaf and hearing peoples to come together in unity throughout the world. Lastly, I will reflect the ideals of the American Sign Language Honor Society in scholarship, community service, and personal excellence. Congratulations to our new members of the ASL Honor Society. And now, for the Spanish National Honor Society. La Sociedad Honoraria Hispánica is an academic honor society focused on Spanish language in secondary education and promotes a continuity of interest in Spanish studies. Its motto is Todos a una, all for one. The group, which was established in 1953 in the United States, is sponsored by the American Association of Teachers of Spanish and Portuguese. May I present the new candidates from Attleboro High School. Maya. Ayo, Alyssa Alviri, John Baruda, Rea Bajor, Juliana Baldani, Delia Barthel, Jason Battisti, Ryan Berry, Ryan Betts, Corinne Blaisdell, John Bluin, Lillian Bodecker, Emma Boss, Delaney Bostick, Rebecca Boudreau, Jason Brewster, Emma Briggs, Chelsea Brown, Ryan Brown, Anthony Burns, Caroline Butler, Sophia Carlson, Lee Cat Stevens, Neil Chase, Matthew Chin, Jaden Cruz, Christian 
Dane, Gina Dow, Connor Davis, Madison Durek, Kelsey Elliott, Noah Estremera, Carly Evans, Danielle Flores, Megan Gordon, Magdalena Guardado, Trinity Harrison, Paulina Hem, Olivia Hillman, Christopher Holcomb, Alexandra in Sunny, Ethan Johnson, Josephine Johnson, Alyssa George, Grace Ann Kleinbrail, Tina Lem, Michaela Lamoro, Victoria Ledoux, Christopher Leonardo, Ella Lynch Barter, Sean Marshall, Olivia Mastandrea, Sarah McMahon, Madison Morgan, Nora Nessa, Brenna O'Connell, Kathy Ortega, Haley Perry, Lindsay Perry, Abigail Pliska, Rachel Puss, Megan Priestley, Allison Ravello, Nathan Seibert, Kelly Silva, Catherine Simnet, Arjan Sadani, Arna Sadani, Jacob Straminski, Cashel Stuger, Ethan Sylvia, Katerina Trieb, Caitlin Vieira, Amelia Westwater, Scott White. All new members, please stand and raise your right hand for the oath. Please repeat after me. Como, bien, como miembro de honor, del capítulo de la Escuela Atreboro, prometo usar la lengua española para mejorar la amistad entre personas de otros países y del nuestro. Además, prometo ayudar a la comunidad y a mi escuela. Esta es mi promesa. Please sit down. Translation. As a member of the Edinburgh High School chapter, I promise to devote myself to the study of the Spanish language in order to master it someday. Remembering that a language can be a, a strong tie between persons of different origins, of race or religion. As a citizen of my country, 
I promise to promote friendship and understanding between the United States and the other lands of the world. This is my promise and my oath. Congratulations to the new members of the Spanish National Honor Society. Thank you for your dedication and accomplishment we wish you well as you continue to study Spanish and culture. Muchas gracias por su delicada y máxima atención. May I introduce once again Mr. Rooney, the principal of Edinburgh High School. Buenas noches a todos. Thank you, Mr. Pereira. Although we are still in a very uncertain time, tonight is a very happy occasion. I would like to conclude by thanking Mrs. Larson, Mr. Gay, Ms. Nygaard, Mrs. McCarthy, and Mr. Pereira, as well as our partners at AACS for organizing tonight. Please accept my best wishes for a safe navigation of these difficult times. Congratulations and thank you for showing Blue Pride. Good night. <laughs>